Aptera's Artemis vs. Slate EV pickup, who's winning the race to reinvent electric vehicles? In the silent race toward the future, two electric vehicles are rewriting the script, not with noise or hype, but with vision. On one side, Aptera Motors crafting a machine so efficient it can run on sunlight alone. On the other, Slate EV, building a tough, modular pickup that you can repair with your own hands. These aren't just new vehicles, they're opposing blueprints for a new kind of freedom. As electric vehicles step into the mainstream, the conversation is shifting. It's no longer just about speed or range, but about what we should be driving in a world facing climate disruption, energy instability, and changing human needs. As EVs gain mainstream traction, the debate is no longer just about horsepower and range, it's about reimagining what a vehicle should be in an age of climate urgency, energy constraints, and shifting user needs. So here's the question. Can a car powered by the sun change how we power our lives? Or will rugged, repairable design prove to be the real revolution? Whether you're captivated by off-grid freedom or drawn to the elegance of extreme efficiency, what you're about to see might just change the way you think about progress. So sit back and let's explore how Aptera and Slate are shaping two very different and equally compelling visions of the electric future. If this video gave you a fresh perspective on sustainable vehicles and the future of transportation, consider returning the favor by clicking the like on this video, subscribe, turn on the bell icon, and share. It genuinely helps more people discover this kind of thoughtful, in-depth content. Aptera has long stood as an outlier. Their Artemis program, named after the Greek goddess often associated with exploration, marks their most advanced leap yet. A production-ready solar electric vehicle with bold promises. Artemis isn't built to compete with Tesla's or Rivian's in raw speed or luxury features. Instead, it aims to obliterate inefficiency at its core. With a drag coefficient of just 0.13, the vehicle's three-wheel teardrop form slices through air more efficiently than any other road vehicle on the market. Every curve and surface is designed with one mission, reduce energy use per mile to the bare minimum. What truly sets Artemis apart, though, is its integrated solar array. In optimal sunlight, it can generate up to 40 miles of range per day directly from the sun. That's more than the average daily commute in the United States, meaning many owners may never need to plug it in. The solar-first design reframes the idea of range anxiety. Aptera isn't just making an EV, it's proposing that a car can power itself. Combined with its lightweight structure and minimal drive, the Artemis can achieve up to 1,000 miles on a full charge, using just 100 watt-hours per mile. That's about one-third of the energy needed for a typical Tesla Model 3. As of 2025, Aptera has completed its Delta builds, secured key component suppliers, and opened up over 40,000 pre-orders. Production is targeted to begin in late 2025 with deliveries expected soon after. However, there are still questions surrounding regulatory classification. Because it has three wheels and tandem seating, Artemis is registered as an autocycle, not a traditional car. That classification means fewer safety regulations, but also introduces complications in how it's treated by insurance, DMV systems, and state licensing authorities. On the other end of the EV design spectrum is Slate, an emerging electric truck manufacturer that's flying under the radar, but building momentum. While Aptera focuses on lightness, minimalism, and futuristic forms, Slate embraces a robust, modular vision. Their electric pickup is built for doers. Farmers, contractors, off-grid dwellers, and everyday users who need a vehicle that works as hard as they do. The design emphasizes simplicity and not software. There are no giant touchscreens or over-the-air update gimmicks. Instead, Slate is betting on modularity, allowing users to swap out battery packs, motor units, and even entire bed and cabin configurations. Slate's vehicle isn't aiming for jaw-dropping range or record-breaking acceleration, but it's no sludge either. Early prototypes suggest a 300-mile range, sub-6 second 0 to 60 acceleration, and towing capacity in the same ballpark as the Ford Lightning. Where Slate really separates itself, though, is in its manufacturing philosophy. Rather than building mega-factories, the company is exploring micro-factory models, localized production hubs that reduce shipping emissions, support regional economies, and allow for faster adaptation to community needs. The vehicle is also designed with repairability in mind, following right-to-repair principles and utilizing standardized, accessible components. When placing out Terra and Slate side-by-side, -side, it's clear they aren't direct competitors in form, but they do represent two very different answers to the same question. What should a sustainable vehicle actually look like? Aptera envisions a world where we drastically reduce energy demands, using design as the lever. Slate, on the other hand, accepts that people still need practical, capable vehicles and tries to make those vehicles more sustainable without asking users to dramatically change their habits. 
Artemis offers freedom from the grid, relying on the sun and streamlined design to push efficiency to the extreme. The slate pickup offers independence of a different kind. Modular freedom, mechanical resilience, and a vehicle you can modify or fix yourself. Their technical specifications reflect this contrast. Artemis features a solar-assisted drivetrain with up to 1,000 miles of range, costs around $33,000, and seats two people. Slate's truck, while its price is yet to be finalized, is expected to fall closer to $45,000, with about 300 miles of range and a full-size truck utility profile. Artemis appeals to minimalists, commuters, and eco-pioneers. Slate targets people who need a workhorse they can trust and understand, especially in rural or off-grid areas. From a timeline perspective, Aptera is currently ahead. Its Artemis program is nearing production, with major supply chain pieces locked in and physical builds already underway. Slate is earlier in its lexical, still refining prototypes and building partnerships. But Slate's potential lies in its scale strategy. If it can execute its microfactory model effectively and keep costs down, it could serve underserved markets that mainstream EV brands have largely ignored. Those who don't live near dealerships, don't want software-heavy vehicles and need real physical utility. The two companies are also defined by their emotional appeal. Aptera speaks to those inspired by nature, science, and the elegance of doing more with less. Slate taps into a different cultural nerves, self-reliance, toughness, and the desire to own tools that don't break under pressure. One philosophy is rooted in minimizing needs, the other is about maximizing control. Ultimately, this isn't a traditional competition. Aptera and Slate are chasing different types of drivers. But both reflect a shift in how we think about progress not just toward electric power, but towards smarter, more human-centered design. They aren't simply building vehicles, they're offering blueprints for the future. A future where you either sip energy like a hummingbird or haul with confidence like a mountain goat. A future where you might never visit a gas station again, or where you can repair your truck in a barn without calling a software engineer. In that sense, neither company needs to win outright. They only need to prove that different kinds of mobility can coexist in a sustainable ecosystem. One appeals to sun-chasing minimalists, the other to utility-driven realists. And maybe that's the most important lesson here. That the future of transportation won't be defined by one dominant model, but by a diversity of visions, each rooted in a deeper understanding of how people live, move, and dream. The coming years will show whether Aptera's Artemis can convert solar theory into scalable production, and whether Slate can overcome manufacturing and market entry hurdles and deliver its pickup to working-class hands. But one thing is clear, both are daring to ask the hard questions. And in a world that too often favors flash over function, that alone is a welcome kind of progress. If this video gave you a fresh perspective on sustainable vehicles and the future of transportation, consider returning the favor. Please like the video, it genuinely helps more people discover this kind of thoughtful, in-depth content. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an episode exploring innovation, energy, and the stories behind the world's boldest ideas. And if you know someone who'd appreciate this journey into the future of EVs, feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.